So day four of our Jeep build. Before you brought down the YJ frame, we have to power wash it and get it all ready. All right, here we go. Okay, I just squeeze it? it just spray it, yeah, you just spray it. So. Springs and the shocks came in from Rock Country. We're doing a two and a half um, inch lift, um, and Gordon is going to put them in. Try not to drop the little stuff. So. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> yeah. So, there. That's what's left of it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Just to recap about what we are doing here in our off-road shop. We've taken this 1988 YJ down to the frame. We still have to grind all the rust off of it, paint it, and replace a lot of the parts that we took off. We are going to be adding new 488 gears to the front and rear axle. Then we'll be adding a DJ5 body onto this frame. I'm not exactly sure what Gordy's plan is to do that, but he's pretty good at what he does, so I'm sure it will work out, hopefully. And then this will be a bookmobile for the organization that sponsors the Dolly Parton Imagination Library for our town. They hand out free books at local events, so this will be a perfect way to transport the books. Yeah, it's just, it's going great. <laughs> I love uh, rusty Vermont boots. They're my favorite. <laughs> well, let's see, on this side, the, both the nuts came off, which is good. Sort of, it's, I think I'm gonna probably still have to cut the, I don't know what to do if I just cut the leaf spring eyes and try to deal with the split sleeves. saw before these where are they bolts didn't want to come out at all um, we're able to get this sleeve off of there because it's split down the middle and the leaf spring itself was so rotted that it broke in half as soon as I took the back bolt out um, for let's see this shackle end and I'm taking this nut off, driving this out of the end of this leaf spring eyelet. And that's going to allow me to do the same thing and just split that bushing off from there. So that was about a 40 minute process to get that far. Good morning. So we're back working on the YJ. Um, got most of these bolts for these leaf springs out of their bushings yesterday afternoon and then uh, I went ahead and put this one this side uh, the new leaf spring in um, we're gonna go ahead and put shocks in and probably continue to get this lift in um, nothing's getting installed permanently right now we're gonna have to take it back apart but I do have to keep it mobile because I have a rather large project coming in at the beginning of next week so for the moment we're gonna get the new parts on it get everything kind of mocked up make sure everything works and then uh, Probably gonna end up tearing it back apart, but that's what we're doing. So 
So on this Jeep, we're, we're actually installing a Rough Country two and a half inch uh, lift kit. Um, it was a super affordable way to replace all the leaf springs. And it's only two and a half inches. I don't really want this thing to sit uh, super high, but two and a half inch lift will give us a little room for slightly bigger tires. Again, we replaced all the leaf springs, which were clearly in rough shape. We also went with their slightly upgraded M1 shocks seem to be pretty nice. They have a really nice finish on them, and uh, um, we've put them on a couple of other Jeeps, and they ride good. So I figured it was worth a little bit of extra money to have an upgraded shock. But that's what we're putting on. So we have to put the Jeep back together so we can roll in another project. Uh, a JL axle swap is coming in next week. Um, so we have to get this out and then we'll work on it soon. Stay tuned.